shake off those winter blues with these hit movies playing in February at the Rec Ticket. Really like to help you with the trial. First, it's the case of a lifetime. You think he was crazy when he did it? No, he wasn't crazy. Sandra Bullock stars in A Time to Kill. A flash of light opens John Travolta's eyes to the power of the universe. Ever since the sight of it. It was a damn light. Phenomenon. I'm gonna be a real boy! It's a new take on an old fable. How about cutting your girlfriend? The Adventures of Pinocchio. You read a psycho profile on him, he hit the bottom of the curve. Catches on quick, doesn't she? Snake Plissken is back. Kurt Russell stars in Escape from L.A. I found my new coach. Eddie. Whoopi Goldberg jams as the first female coach in the NBA. Eddie. And your mission, should you choose to accept it. I can understand you're very upset. You've never seen me very upset. Is to watch Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. February may be the shortest month, but we're long on movies on direct ticket, only on direct TV. Today on Hot Rod TV, we'll show you how to plant the power on your back wheels with a new set of traction bars. We'll bolt on a high-performance shifter on this Mustang. We'll travel to Kentucky to a blowout for bow ties only. And get to know the queen of hot riding herself, Miss Linda Vaughn. I love you, John. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, man, it's made my day. <laughs> Hang on. It's time for Hot Rod TV. Hi, welcome to the Hot Rod Shop. Glad you dropped by. Last week on our show, we had a lot of fun giving a horsepower hike to this old Camaro. We bolted on a new nitro system, and the result? Incredible power on demand. Now, this may be a classic case of one high-performance project leading to another. You see, we made so much new power that, well, my partner Chuck had a little trouble hooking up. Yeah, I did, Joe, but you know what? Making power is only part of the equation. The other part is putting that power to the pavement. We're going to take care of that today with this set of Lakewood bolt-on traction bars. We're going to harness that horsepower. Great, Chuck. Right now, though, we're going to an event where you'll see lots of traction bars and Chevys. In fact, it's an event for Chevys and Chevys only. You're going to think you died and gone to bowtie heaven. Welcome to the Chevy High Performance Thunder Cruise here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. You know, this is a state famous for its horses, right? Well, this event's all about horsepower. Just get a load of some of these bow tie beauties. Seems like every bow tie in the book made it to Beachman Raceway, and most were driven here from all parts of the continent. Everything from super fine 55 Bel Airs to sexy 63 Vets. But without a doubt, the most popular model at this Chevy Shindig was a car that came out a little over 30 years ago. There is only one best Chevrolet, and that's the Camaro. I don't care what year. From 1967 to 1996. Can't beat it. Well, you can't beat any Chevy lover's devotion to his ride of choice. Just ask the editor of Chevy High Performance Magazine. Almost 90% of the uh, performance aftermarket uh, deals with the small block Chevy or the Chevrolet vehicles. While some of the more pristine bow ties were here for show, others were here to smoke some tires. No doubt a big crowd favorite at Thunder Cruise is the burnout contest. A lot of fun, a lot of smoke. The car's not real, real fast, but I think I can produce a lot of smoke. Of course, the main event of Thunder Cruise is always drag racing on the eight mile track, with contestants competing in real, super, and pro street classes. Today's top Super Street competitor was Spiro Pappas, who powered his Camaro Z28 to easy wins on the track. I love the competition with the 10 and a half inch tire, the single four barrel. The fact that these are the real street cars because they're all steel. All steel, all American, and all Chevrolet. When you're a bow tie buff like these enthusiasts are, well, it's a celebration that makes Chevy and driver jump for joy. Now, I remember seeing this Chevelle up there at the Thunder Cruise. It was a big hit. 
Beautiful car. I don't think it was in the burnout contest. No, but that's still my favorite form of competition. Mine too. If you want to take in our next Thunder Cruise, just call the APG hotline at 858-6381. Now let's get back to the Traction Action Project. We'll be back right after this. Not long ago, we loaned these mechanics Home Depot's Husky Tools and asked them to give them a shot. We mentioned they were guaranteed forever. Now they won't give them back. And uh, we don't really feel like arguing with them. Husky, the toughest name in tools. And only at the Home Depot. Do you want to make more money? Of course. We all do. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have trained for job promotions and new careers without ever setting foot inside a classroom. ICS gave me the skills that got me a promotion. And a raise, too. Sure, I worked hard to be why I am today. But if I hadn't enrolled in ICS to earn my degree, I wouldn't be here. So call the ICS toll-free number and get one of these exciting career packs absolutely free. Your career pack explains how easy it is to train at home through ICS to get a better job. Now, at home, in your spare time, you can get your career diploma or even your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, computer programming, auto mechanics, bookkeeping, learning the personal computer, electrician, legal assistant, animal care specialist, interior decorating, child daycare, medical office assistant, computer assisted bookkeeping, small business management, medical transcriptionist, Catering and gourmet cooking, electronics, air conditioning repair, dental assistant, hotel restaurant management, fitness and nutrition, PC repair, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Compare your present salary with the money you could be making in any one of these careers. Then call the ICS toll-free number and get your exciting career pack absolutely free. Call now for free information. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better career to make more money. Call 1-800-662-1384. Choose any one of these exciting careers. That's 1-800-662-1384. Hot Rod TV is brought to you by Husky, the toughest name in tools. Available only at the Home Depot. And by Mr. Gasket Company, America's leading supplier of performance parts. Hi, welcome back to Hot Rod TV. Well, as you're about to see, traction bars are a pretty simple, basic bolt-on, designed, of course, to help you eliminate unwanted suspension movement while shifting that weight to the rear of the car where you want it. Hey, Chuck, how you coming back there? Yeah, we've just about got this thing where we need it here, Joe. Hey, guys, when we're working under this car, it's stabilized with this big steel beam and these bottle jacks. Now, chances are you're going to be doing this job out in your driveway, so you want to make sure your vehicle is stabilized with jack stands before you even think about crawling under there. Remember, hot rodding is fun, but it's not worth getting hurt over. Okay, I've laid out a couple of traction bar models here. Chuck, this is obviously the more basic choice. It is. This is a very basic bolt-on universal traction bar that'll fit just about any leaf spring application. As you can see, these merely clamp onto the leaf springs. Okay. We do have adjustability on our snubber up here. Now, these go for about 50 bucks. Take you about 15 minutes to install, so they're also easy on your wallet. That's not bad. Now, since we added a nitrous kit to this Camaro, got a lot more horsepower, we're going to step up to this competition model. Now, Chuck, this is a really solid piece. It actually becomes part of the suspension. Yeah, you're right, Joe. Now, this spring plate back here actually replaces the one that's already on the car. Now, we also like these J-bolt features. Now, it's an option, but well worth the money. I'll tell you what it does. It allows us to really tune this bar to our particular situation. Up front here, this U-bolt, that's a nice safety feature. Retains the bar in case we have some suspension breakage. Mm -hmm. Notice these holes up here? Yeah. It allows us to put that snubber right under the spring eye where it does the most good. I think this is going to work well on it. Oh, I know it will. Now, this sells for about $100. J-Boats go for about $20. let us get that tire off. I'm ready. Mm. Mm. Now, before we do anything else, it's a good idea to eyeball this thing just to make sure we're not getting in the way of any brake lines or cables. Okay. How's it looking there, Chuck? I'll move her forward just a little bit. You know, I think that the emergency brake cable is going to be fine, and yeah, it looks like the uh, brake line isn't going to be a problem either. How's that snubber looking up there? I think you're going to fit okay. Great. Now, we've already taken the shock loose from its mount, and the emergency brake cable has been repositioned. The plate's the next thing that we need to remove.
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and bolt on the traction bar. Got it, Chuck? There we go. I got it. We'll leave the shock loose just like it is. We'll put the tire back on the car, lower it down to its normal ride height. Now, at that point, we can make our measurements so we can cut the snubber to just the right height. Now, when you mount this J-bolt over the axle, make sure you run it under the brake line. You don't want to pinch this and lose your brakes. Okay, the tire's back on. Car's at normal ride height. Let's take a measurement. Looks like about inch and five-eighths. That's what I've got. Okay. Hey, guys, if this was a drag race car, we'd trim this snubber at an inch and five-eighths. Zero out the air gap, get you off the line just a little bit quicker. But really, this is a street strip car. In fact, you'll probably see more street action than strip action. So we're going to go ahead and give it another half an inch, let the suspension move around a little bit better, give us a smoother street ride. Okay, snubber's tight. And that's how you get traction with a leaf spring car. Now, some of you guys are probably sitting out there going, hey, what about the coil spring cars? You know what? We've got you covered there, too. This is a bolt-on traction bar made specifically for coil spring cars. A little bit different construction, but hey, it does the same job. In fact, you know, this Chevelle over here has already got a set put on it. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Man, I really love those Krager wheels. They look great on the Chevelle. They sure do. That's a classic wheel. Okay. Now, as you can see under here, quite a different construction. And these are more pricey, about $150 a pair. Yeah, but look what you get for your money. Real truss-style construction. It's a genuine ladder bar. And for serious horsepower, you can actually weld these things to your housing. Good point. Well, whether you have coil springs or leaf springs, without a doubt, Traction bars are a pretty easy, economical way to hook up that horsepower. You know what else? We've had fun doing it. Later in the show, we spend the day with the first lady of hot riding, Miss Linda Vaughn. Bottom line is, I am what I am, and this industry is what I am. I love it. If you want some extra horsepower or need some extra torque, replace your paper filter with a k and filter charger. K&M's oiled cotton and gauze spring construction provides excellent filtration compared to paper and a huge increase in airflow. With K&M, 15 horsepower increases are common. And when they get dirty, just wash them out. They're guaranteed for a million miles. K&M filters install in seconds, fit almost anything with a motor, and they're affordable. Call now for a free K&M brochure. Presenting the Heavy 80s, all your favorite 80s hits in one fantastic collection. Don't have me no lines and keep your hands to yourself. Get the Heavy 80s for just $9.99 on compact disc or double length cassette. That's 18 awesome hits. Audition other great 80s albums. There's no minimum to buy. Cancel anytime. Call now. To order heavy 80s, call 1 800 648 5252 or send 999 for cassette or CD plus 350 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Benjamin, join us tonight at 10 Eastern for race day. Super Bowl, Schmooper Bowl. We've got plenty of motorsports for you. Winston Cup testing from Daytona. We'll recap last week's truck opener and the Indy Racing League on race day. Race day, tonight, 10 p.m., 9 Central on TNN Motorsports. Hot Rod TV is brought to you by k and Filter Chargers, the high flow filter with the million-mile warranty. And by the Annihilator Ignition System from Holly. The directions are simple. Take no prisoners, show no mercy. Hi, welcome back. In just a few minutes, we'll install this five-speed shifter in this Mustang convertible. But when you think of performance shifters, what famous personality comes to mind? Well, she's one of the leading figures in our sport. And a lady whose poster may decorate your garage. You guessed it. I'm talking about the queen of hot rodding, Miss Linda Vaughn. 
Well, I love everybody. I mean, you know, I grew up in this industry and this sport, and it's a family. You know, you know, it's a family. This is a family. Everybody kind of knows one another. Hi, y'all. Shift my gears, honey. She was a Dalton, Georgia beauty queen who went on to reign in the kingdom of high performance. When Linda Vaughn was crowned Miss Golden Shifter by the Hearst Performance Company in 1966, well, it was the beginning of one of the most successful careers in the automotive world. She's appeared in countless ads, commercials, and even a few motion pictures, like Gumball Rally, where the blonde beauty even stopped a race. This is the number one shifter right here. Today, over 30 years later, Linda is still stopping traffic, greeting fans, and making friends at races and events like the SEMA show in Las Vegas. I tried to keep up with the busy queen of hot rodding for a few exhausting hours. Hey, how y'all doing? Good to see you. Did you get your calendar yesterday? Okay. Just checking. Hi, Sean. How you doing? Nice to see y'all. How's the show going? Yeah, really there will be no racing without Linda Vaughn, Don Perdome, and, and John Wally Ford. Parks. <laughs> and John Ford. Six times world champion right here. Right. I love you, John. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, man, it's made my day. <laughs> and uh, we all work together because our sport's dangerous. Yep. You never know when you're going to lose somebody, and I think it makes us closer because in the morning you can have breakfast with them, and at night we could be taking them to a funeral home. This is a very tough business we're in, and uh, I love them so much. We're family. Wow. Linda beautiful. also loves her cars, such as the new Hearst Camp, with an engine that was built by renowned motor builder John Lingenthal. Oh, I'm tickled, John. I finally get to see your motor you built me. Tell me about it. How many horses do we have? Well, 360 horsepower. So close to 400 horsepower. You know what's so lovely about this car, Joe? It fits, it feels good, it's fast, it's got a new carbon fiber her shifter in it. It is beautiful. This is this is something brand new, state of the art in carbon fiber, the new material this year. But a woman designed this to fit the hand and it's just beautiful. You know, Simpson, Moving on through the convention time. center and past oh. more admirers. Hi, how are you, Mike? <laughs> Linda and I proceed to see yet another promotional car, a street rod she appropriately calls her white light. That's my baby. <laughs> Uh, it, I, I'm just so thrilled with it. Well, when you first look at the car, it kind of looks like a cord with a Ferrari. Look at this grill. This grill is a magnificent piece of work by Alpha McLean. The machine that cut this grill was a laser cutting machine that cost almost a billion dollars. It's the Lincoln Continental Mark 8 engine. And of course you can see it's a 32 valve. Actually, when we pull the tops off, it looks like snakes under there. We're really excited about it. It has a wonderful sound. It has a boil of sound to it. <laughs> Well, by now, you may be wondering, is this vivacious blonde with the incredible energy and outgoing personality for real or what? Well, here's your answer. Bottom line is, I am what I am, and this industry is what I am. I love it, and it's been part of my life, and continue to be so for the next few years. You ever want to quit? Uh, no, I'd be like, not going to a race, I think I'd die. <laughs> Parts have won more pro drag races than any other. Axel Ignition dominates NHRA. Transform your car or truck ignition with the same firepower the pros use. With Excel, cap rotor and tune-up kits, super stock performance wire sets, and high power Excel super coils. Tune in affordable horsepower for your car or truck with Excel performance ignition parts. Excel and other top performance brands are available at these leading parts stores. Dance. It swept Europe and now is sweeping the U.S. Experience this symphony of sight and sound, now available on home video. Feel the pulsating rhythm as 80 performers ignite your passion. Order Riverdance today, and you'll save $5 through this special TV offer. Now you can own your copy of Riverdance for only $19.98. Don't miss your chance for the original Riverdance. Order now. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-568-4343 to order Riverdance. Order today and save $5. Only $19.98 plus shipping and handling. That's 1-800-568-4343. Sorry, no COD. Watching TNN, the Nashville Network. Hot 
Rod TV is brought to you by The Home Depot, your exclusive source for Husky tools, and by Super Pack, the new electric supercharger delivering power on demand. Hi, welcome back. Over 30 years ago, a guy named George Hurst developed the first true high-performance shifter. Now, obviously, Hurst knew performance enthusiasts were going to want those hard, fast shifts on the strip and on the street. Now, the Competition Plus shifter first made its mark on Muncie four-speeds much like this one. Let me show you what he did. Now, I brought along this OE-style shifting rod just to show you the difference. As you can see, it's nothing special. Now, granted, the shifter that we have mounted on this Muncie is probably the ultimate. It's used by a lot of NASCAR teams, and they've used a tubular rod here that's made out of aluminum for light weight and, and strength. The spherical rod ends are threaded and adjustable, close tolerance pin here. Mm -hmm. Hey. Now that's what I call a solid shift. Yeah, that's solid. But you know, Chuck, Tranny Tech has come a long way since this box was first used back in the 60s, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it definitely has. And I'll tell you, most performance cars today rely on the BorgWarner T-Series transmissions. And it comes in a five or a six-speed configuration, but the biggest difference is that it uses an internal shifting mechanism. Speaking of which, we're going to show you how easy it is to get those hard and fast shifts as we install this five-speed on our Mustang here. You know what the best thing is, though? What? You can do it in less than two hours, and you don't even have to get under the car. Oh, I like that. Let's get going. You know, with as many Mustangs and Camaros running around out there with manual transmissions, a performance shifter has to be one of the best bolt-ons a guy can make. Battery's disconnected. And for less than $200, it's easy to see why. Removing this console is probably the toughest part of this job, but it's not that bad. Basic hand tools do the trick. Make sure your handbrake is set, and of course the gearbox should be in neutral. Now the first step, we need to take this shift knob off there. And it just unscrews from the lever. Once it's off there, put your fingers underneath the boot, pop this shifter plate out of here. Now, once the shifter plate is out of there, we'll see that we've got a couple of retaining screws here. It also exposes the whole shifter mechanism. A couple more exposed screws are back behind here. There are a couple more on that side. We ought to have this thing out in about 10 minutes. Yeah, nothing to it. Now, be sure to read the manual because these steps will vary from model to model. All right, this thing's about ready to come out of here, Joe. Yeah, and your 10 minutes are almost up, buddy. Oh, we'll make it. We'll make it. Wait a minute. We've got some radio connections back here. Oh, man, I almost forgot about that. I know it. There we go. All right, here it is. Great. Now, getting that console out of the way really opens this thing up so we can work on it, huh? Sure does. You want to check? I'm going to have to send you to speed wrenching school. Oh, there, there we go. There it is. All right, now with this boot off, we're four bolts away from getting the old shifter off and that Competition Plus shifter on. All right, let's get this one last bolt out of here. And then this whole shifter should come right out. Oh, uh, there we go. That was easy. Now, this is that rail-type transmission that we were talking about earlier. Yes, you can see it's a lot different than the Muncie. There's no external linkage at all. And this ball simply engages this socket down here on the rail. It moves it back and forth. This is actually your linkage, and that's what changes your gears. Yeah, I just put a thin bead of silicone on the bottom of the shifter plate. It's made of cast aluminum. There you go, Chuck. It's a lot thicker than the stamped steel when we replaced, so you want to use the longer bolts that come with your kit. Now, before we finish up here, we still have to adjust the shifter stops, and it's real easy. Basically, Joe, could you move that shifter in a second for me, please? There we go. Now, you just screw the stop in until it contacts the shifter. There we go. Now, you back it out one full turn. I'm going to hold it there with the wrench while we jam the jam nut. There we go. Now, you just simply repeat the procedure on the front stop. Well, let me tighten this ball a little bit, and we are done. All right, man. How's that shifter feel, Joe? Great, Chuck. Nice, solid, short throw. All right. Well, Chuck will be back with our tip of the week, so stay right there. Get in on the action. Call now for your free complimentary issue of Hot Rod Magazine. For 50 years, Hot Rod's covered America's passion for everything in the world of high performance. The top street machines, muscle cars, classic rods and customs, plus the ultimate in engine tech. And Hot Rod entertains with the lifestyle, the racing, the personalities, and the events that make rodding hot. Get it all 
including that special brand of how-to information that power enthusiasts have relied on for five decades. Call now and reserve your free introductory copy of Hot Rod. If you like it, you can order a 12-issue subscription for just $9.97. That's less than 85 cents a month for the ultimate performance magazine. It's easy. We'll bill you. If you choose not to subscribe, simply mark the bill canceled. You'll owe nothing and the free copy is yours with our compliments. Get up to speed. Call now for your free copy of Hot Rod Magazine. So you're building that deck with Time Life to help you along. You might want to add some built-in benches. Page 50. How about a brick patio? Guaranteed weed proof and a lot easier on your checkbook than some contractor would be. Now with Home Repair, you get two books for two bucks. Order decks, porches, and patios for just a buck ninety-nine and get kitchens free. Those new countertops sure look good and doing it yourself probably saved the bundle. So you could do that built-in recycling bin she wanted. Step by step, Time Life makes it easy. With Home Repair, you get professional results at do-it-yourself prices. Use your credit card to order decks for just a buck ninety-nine and get kitchens free. Home Repair makes you a real hero around the house. So why don't you give them a call? They'd probably love to hear from you. Call 1-800-779-8484 to get two books for only two bucks. Use your credit card to order decks, porches, and patios, and you'll get kitchens free. Or send check or money order for $1.99 plus $3.95 shipping to the address on your screen. Hi, welcome back to the Hot Rod Shop. Now here's a quick little tip that can save you some money. If you have some glass with a scratch on it, but it's not quite deep enough for you to hook your nail in it, well, you can polish that glass out with a glass polishing kit. Now, this is a common scratch caused by a bad wiper blade. To get it out, we'll use a glass polishing kit from Eastwood. It includes polishing powder and this special cotton polishing pad. Now, use a grease pencil to mark the damaged area on the unscratched side of the glass. This will give you a point of reference. Then, pour some of the polishing powder into a dish. Now, you want to add just a little bit of water to it and you can stir it until you get a paste. Next, chuck the polishing pad into a variable speed drill. Now for best results, we're gonna to wanna to polish this glass at a fairly low drill speed, about 2,000 RPM or so. Then, apply some of the paste you've already mixed to the polishing pad. Now, this polishing compound is silicon-based, so work safe, always use a breathing filter. Start buffing out the scratch using light pressure. You want to keep plenty of paste on the polishing pad and work the entire scratch. Make sure you stay between the guide marks until the scratch is gone. Wipe the glass clean and you're done. That's our quick tip for this week. Be sure to join us again next time. Get ready for blower buildup as we plan a supercharger in this Chevy truck and turn the ordinary pickup into a brutal street performer. We'll visit the 4x4 Fun Fest, full of trucks made for show, and others born for bashing in the 4x4 Extreme Challenge. Great time! Great time! Plus the latest in hot parts from the high-performance aftermarket. Well, until then, remember, high-performance fun is what this show is all about. See ya. Next on TNN Motorsports. Think about it. We depend on our vehicles. Yet most people know surprisingly little about car care. Well, get ready for the road. The show that will help you ensure your vehicle gets the kind of care and attention it needs. Join Mike Anson and Trisha Hassinger to see just how easy it is to tackle routine maintenance and small repairs. And be confident the job's done right. So get ready. Ready for the road. Tonight, 11.30 Eastern on TNN Motorsports.